good morning now we study about the accepting angle in an optical fiber this accepting angle is nothing but what are the angle this is given the incident on this fiber which can be enters into this fiber means here if you apply some incident angle what are the incident angle it can receives that particular incident angle then it is said to be optical fiber if so let us consider let alpha i be the incident angle which is incident on this optical fiber from n naught the n naught is nothing but the refractive index of a and n1 is the refractive index of co and n2 is the refractive index of platinum okay if the light ray is incident through some incident angle alpha i then the light ray will be enters into this fiber and making an angle alpha r where alpha r is nothing but the refraction angle okay then if it will be incident with some angle alpha i when it is enters into the optical fiber and here it will be what happened here the core the core the refractive index core is n1 and n2 is the refractive index platinum here we observe that the light ray here this light ray will be act as a incident when it is passes through this core when it is enters into optical fiber it acts as incident ray okay when it is passes from denser to rarer means core to cladding and at, here at this boundaries of cladding what happens is it will be total internal refraction will be takes place here again now if you observe that this ray it passes from core to cladding here again here also at this point here what happens it will be total internal refraction will take place again it moves in this direction and it will be passes through the propagated the light ray through core in this direction then they will be escape from this of the fiber so this is the the propagation of the light ray now according to here they are making some angle theta here see here they are making angle theta here the 90 degrees okay. now the basic law from this refraction that the Bayesian's man's law we know that the light is coming from n naught and they will enter into the medium n naught then we can written as n naught sin alpha i is equal to n one sin alpha r we know that the basic formula that is n one by n naught is equal to sin i by sin r okay by cross multiplying this equation we get this is the basic law that the law of refraction okay now by using this expression we can find out sin alpha i is equal to n1 by n0 sin alpha r where here n1 by n0 sin alpha r here see here the alpha r is nothing but 90 minus theta so here we can write sin 90 minus theta. Okay. Sin 90 minus theta is nothing but cos theta. So sin alpha i is equal to n1 n0 cos theta. Because sin 90 minus theta is nothing but cos theta. Okay. Here one more condition is there. If the incident angle will be maximum, alpha i is equal to alpha maximum, okay, that the theta becomes theta c. Theta c. 
Okay, the alpha maximum is nothing but this is the maximum incident time given, which can be accepted by this optical fiber. That maximum incident angle is denoted by alpha maximum that is known as accepting angle. Okay, that maximum, if it is the maximum, then the theta becomes critical angle. So, alpha i is equal to alpha maximum if if alpha i is equal to alpha maximum, then the theta is equal to theta c. If you increase the alpha incident angle more than alpha maximum, then the light ray cannot be enters into the core. The light ray cannot be enters into core. If it enters, what happens? It is less than the critical angle, so the light ray will be enters into cladding. There is no total internal refraction. The basic principle of optical fiber will not be takes place here. So. The incident angle should be maximum if the here the theta should be a critical angle. Okay, so if take this equation in terms of sine alpha and sine maximum, means instead of sine i, we write sine maximum. Okay, and one more thing we know that. Here, see, you can write here what is the value of sine maximum means instead of sine i, you can write sine maximum. So, it is equal to n1 by n0, n1 by n0 cos theta instead of cos theta, you can write cos theta c. Instead of cos theta, we can write cos theta c. Okay, but we know that the previous expression we know that sine theta c is equal to n2 by n1, n2 by n1. That is the principle, that is the, the law, the, the, the critical angle you can already derive in previous section that is sine theta c is equal to n2 by n1. The n2 is the, the refractive index of cladding and one is the refractive index of the core. Okay. Now, by simplifying this expression, that is cos theta c is equal to root over 1 minus sin square theta c, the basic uh, trigonometric expression is. Okay. So, it can be written as 1 minus sin square theta c is sin is that is equal to n2 square by n1 square. Just we are simplifying this one n1 minus uh, n1 square into 1 minus n2 square it is simply root over n1 square minus n2 square simply get n1. This is the expression for cos theta c. So, we can replace this theta c means you can write this theta c in this equation. So we get sine alpha maximum is equal to n1 n0 n1 n0 instead of cos theta c we can write this term. So it is equal to root over n1 square minus n2 square by n1. So here the n1, n1 will be cancelled. So finally we get sine alpha maximum is equal to root over n1 square minus n2 square. n1 square minus n2 square by n0. This is the final expression for accepting angle. Okay. One more condition. If L0 in A, if the refractive index of uh, N0 means it may be A, then it becomes 1. The refractive index of A is nothing but 1. So finally, we get the expression for accepting the sine maximum 
is equal to root over n1 square minus n2 square. If n2 the refractive index of k, then we know that n uh, sorry n0 n0 is the refractive index of a, then we know that n0 is equal to 1. So therefore we can write the final expression. The accepting angle, the accepting angle is nothing but the sine alpha maxima is equal to root over sine 1 square minus sine 2 square. The accepting angle is nothing but simply the alpha maxima, alpha maxima is equal to sine inverse root over n1 square minus n2 square. This is the final expression for accepting angle. Okay. If you increase this incident angle more than accept angle, the light ray cannot be enters into core. Okay. So this, if it is the alpha maxima, then the light ray can enters with this both angles only. This makes a cone at these angles only, the light ray will be accepted by this optical fiber. And this particular cone is known as accepting cone. So here also alpha maxima. Okay. Simple expression. The so alpha maxima is the accepting angle. The accepting angle is nothing but within this is the maximum angle to accept by this optical fiber. Okay. Thank you. Now from this means this experiment we can prove that how the accepting angle can be done. So here let us consider it is a, it is it is an optical fiber. It is just simply an optical fiber. In our laboratory, we can use this optical fiber. So you observe that at the center, it is a, a glass type material that is a core and it is shielded with a plastic material. It is a shield. Okay. So it can be flexible and can use any time. Okay. Okay. Now, how the light will be accepted? Let us consider a laser beam. This is a laser beam through which the light will be communicated. If see here, if you put directly here, okay, we observe the light will be passes through this optical fiber. See here we get a red color spot. If you change this angle, just we have to changing the incident angle. The angle will be changes just. Then we observe that when it is in a parallel, we observe a light will pass through the optical fiber. If you change this angle, incident angle, okay, then we observe that the light will be, the communication light will be changes. At this particular angle, we observe there is no light will be passes through this optical fiber. This incident angle, see here, at this particular incident angle, the light cannot be allowed through this optical fiber. See here. At this particular angle, the light cannot be allowed through this optical fiber. And this, uh, at this angle, the light will be passed. This is the maximum angle. And this maximum incident angle is known as, this is the maximum incident angle is known as accepting angle. If you increase further this accepting angle, the light cannot be passed through this optical fiber. See here. When it is in this, position the parallel directly we can observe the light will be observed here and if you change this accepting angles then the light will not be passes okay this is the accepting angle